18 demo teams are rotating there for three following that before the Great War Display Team runs in the Bremont Great War Display Team, as they now know. Lancaster now taxiing on the far side of the airfield, and we've got a seven ship opening to their sequence, followed by their trenchard formation. This, of course, recalling, as I said earlier, today by flight attendant Tim Dunlop with his co-pilot flight attendant Neil Farrell. As you'll see, the three fighters have peeled off. We have the standard trench yard formation coming in for a crowd right, low pass. Everybody get your cameras ready as we see the BBMS 2018 display. Ladies and gentlemen, get your 
your camera's ready as we see the soon Spitfires coming in from left and from the right. Andy Milliken. He's been on the flight for seven years, four as a volunteer, and this is his third and final year as the boss of BBMF. Previously flying in the Jaguar and was a weapons instructor on that aircraft. He then flew the Typhoon for ten years.
The UK took delivery of almost 2,000 Dakotas, the first entrance service in 1942. ZA-947 was issued to the flight in March 1993, after she was offered up for disposal in 1992. She currently wears the colour scheme of the C-47 FZ-692 of number 233 Squadron, around the D-Day period in 1944. By the end of 1944, the Dakota held Macchio over 1,092 stretch cases and 467 wounded personnel back to England. Ladies and gentlemen, here come the bombers for the second of their passes. Andy Billiken. The small team of dedicated people ensures that the BBMF is seen throughout the country from May to September every year. In fact, this year the BBMF is scheduled to appear around 100 displays and some thousand flights. Give to you the Royal Air Force Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Trench Charge Display for 2018. 
Thank you very much, Adam. Well, goodness knows how many times I've seen the Battle of Britain more than that. Trenchard plus formation that we saw at the start, independent air arms. We've come a long way in the past hundred years. Today, the likes of the Royal Aircraft Factory SE5As that we'll see flying later on with the Remont Great War.